I'm Patrick. If you don't know, I'm running to be your academic coordinator next year. And I'll begin with why I'm running, and I'll tell you why I would do well in the position and what I would like to do within the position. I'm a junior. I'm majoring in chemical engineering, biochemistry, and molecular biology. And I'd like to go to graduate school for synthetic biology and bioengineering. I'd like to be, uh, be a part of the position, get the position, because there are enough ethical questions in the field to justify needing experience in public speaking, how to organize projects, and people. Uh, I joined SHIP in the middle of my sophomore year, and I quickly came to regret not joining sooner. There was free food I could sometimes eat, and there were scholarships, and there was an overwhelming amount of events to volunteer for. I volunteered at these events along with you, and I have also helped organize them. Last year in leadership, I, along with uh, Sam, Kyle, and Erica, planned an outreach event to San Miguel, and this year I was a part of ALE YLF, and uh, was a part of the workshops uh, development, and two of them, I was a uh, contacted sponsors, and I was a workshop leader on the day of the event. Additionally, many of my classes, like in Qi, we exclusively work in groups. So I understand how to work as a team, and I'm experienced in how to organize projects and how to fund them. Now, while I've done all that, and uh, continued to triple major, I received fair criticism last year, and I had my own concerns about not being able to put enough time in the ship. Given that I had 21, semesters, uh, 21 units this semester, plus research, I meant that I wouldn't have had enough time this semester to, put, to do it uh, well in the position, which is why I chose not to run earlier. However, because of the copious amount of classes I've taken, I only have 12 units next semester. I would have a, uh, a lot of more time to manage, for sure. Uh, as to what I would do in the position, I would continue to improve workshops and focus on uh, more useful information for everyone. We usually limit uh, workshops for public speaking just to leadership, but I would try to include those for more members, as well as programming uh, workshops. Uh, increasing participation will also be a goal. I think having an overarching project for the semester or the year will help boost participation. For example, we, uh, a goal could be to create an app, and this could be for SHIP, or it could be for something to go to Shark Tank. But we'd have something to choose at the end of the semester and have a competition, something to actually encourage people to keep going. Uh, I'd also continue mentorship, and I encourage all of you right now, uh, uh, SHIP National has a mentorship program, uh, program.mentornet.org, and it pairs you with mentor based on your interests. I got someone with, with BASF and UTH Zurich, uh, both one's a chemical company, one's a grad school in Europe, and both of which I applied to and considered. Uh, we could also continue our own mentorship program. I was in the external, external mentorship program uh, last year when we had it, and it would try to achieve something similar with local alumni. And I think we could continue this and perhaps expand it so we'd have a list of participants that are ready to go uh, year by year. And this could be set up over the summer. I'd also like to partner with Ship Junior and try and set up something with the little ship people. And, uh, I understand they're, they're difficult to solicit, so I'd try and run it like another project where we would actually have committee meetings and try and get it funded throughout the year and uh, boost participation that way and bribe them with promises of those scholarships, resume building, and encourage them to apply to the high school internships I've been envious of while I've been looking for my own. Uh, <laughs> besides mentoring and workshops, I think we could do a few more things to build a more academic component into SHIP, which I think has been lacking. Uh, I'd wager one of the best ways is to encourage uh, research by lower classmen and incoming freshmen. Uh, professors' emails are usually on department web, web pages, but this is the end of their interaction or the end of their approachability. I think if we were to compile a master list of professors that we're, in, we're involved with as members, uh, a list of their emails and a list of their projects, it could be a lot more useful, uh, a lot more approachable to contact them. Uh, it would be useful not to just to in, uh, underclassmen right now, but to incoming fr freshmen every, uh, as this goes on. Because these professors have tenure and will be here um, probably until they die. <laughs> I'd also try to work with the secretary to keep you guys up to date on deadlines for scholarships and REUs and uh, other deadlines. And while I've personally done a lot of research on the subject, I think not just having someone to come in from, in from careers to encourage applying to grad school, but having current grad school students and uh, postdoctoral alumni come in to talk to you would be useful for deciding if graduate uh, school was actually right for you. Uh, nationally, uh, Hispanics are more likely to drop out of graduate programs, and I think this is something we could definitely address by having uh, and filling out a perspective of it. SHIP does a great job participating in and planning events, and I think we could use that, uh, a lot of that energy to emphasize academics. Workshops and any mentorship programs would require a lot, a lot of help, and given that there are 23 people running for eBoard, I think there would be no shortage of people to help this all happen. 
Uh, thanks for your time. <laughs>